Wow, we're stuck at a temple right now. See, I don't have a life vest. I had my laptop, but I don't think that would have did me any good. Oh my god. Yeah, this is terrible. Yeah, I just finished lunch at a uh, restaurant near this temple. This is a temple I shot at before. Um, thought I'd shoot the beginning and ending of today's video, part number five of my visa run. The playlist is listed above. First, I went to Nongkai, then Lao, and in this video, I'm gonna be in Nongkai. It'll be my last full day and a half day, and actually, I don't know, I think I played at the beginning, the little teaser part. The morning of my last day there was pretty frightening. So you'll, you'll see the video later on. Yeah, this week's been pretty good. It's been um, pretty busy. The, um, yeah, the pollution in Chiang Mai was bad earlier. It's gotten better as the week's gone on, so that's good. Yesterday, I actually met a subscriber, Dennis, from the United States. Really nice guy. You know what? Here's a little bit of our video we met for lunch. Stink. Hey, look at the bright side. The good thing about wearing this mask is I don't have to worry about the audio getting out of sync. Off to meet a subscriber. All right, just parked the bike. Hey, walking over to the restaurant. We're gonna meet a restaurant called Lemon Tree. It's an older restaurant on Hui Gao Road in Chiang Mai. Um, I picked it because it's indoors and the pollution's been bad. Actually, today it's not that bad. So, but it's a older restaurant. His indoor seating, food's always been pretty decent. So, on my way to meet a subscriber. Lemon tree since 1995. Just waiting for the sub to come. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure who to expect. So it's a surprise. He should recognize me. The two times I moved to Chiang Mai, I live in these apartments, Hui Gao residence. So this restaurant was always like a, a place nearby, you know, easy to walk to. This would be like where I would um or see someone walking by. This would be the place I would usually meet somebody that I'd meet on the internet. Tinder dates and Thai friendly dates happen at the lemon tree. This is Dennis, a nice subscriber. Sorry, I'm, I'm shaking your hand with uh, my other hand. Nice subscriber from Dallas, Texas. Yes, All right, let's go and get right. something to eat. Right. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. um, you got the sum tam. Mm -hmm. I got fried rice with seafood, and I also got sum tam. I'm looking at sober, whatever month it is, January. <laughs> no booze here. Okay, there's a little bit of rum in here. There's a little bit of jack in here, but that's it. My first sum tam. Yeah, yeah, first sum tam. Ah, kakumaka. All right, enjoy. All right, Dennis. It's good meeting you. Good to meet you nice man. guy. Good luck. Good Have a good man. trip back. See you. See you later. All right, take it easy. All bye bye. Right. All right, going back home. All right. Yeah, that was Dennis. Really, really nice guy. We had a had a really good conversation. We ate some lunch and we went and grabbed a cup of coffee and set our departures and hope to meet up with them again. With no further ado, these are my last two days in Nongkai. Hope you enjoy it. Wow. Sausage, homemade potato salad, and a side salad. Very nice. Yeah. 
guess the, the Buddha statues were brought from Lao and some of them sunk and are still in the Mekong River. So over there is a temple that is underwater 151 years ago. So a hundred baht a person, you can go out on a boat. Under the Mekong River. I don't want to fall in. Kung Fu cup, so. yeah. All right. I know it might be too windy, but um, right here is a temple that 151 years ago it went underwater. It's like a really famous spot in Nongkai. It's very beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. I was kind of afraid to touch it. So let me. Hope I don't fall in. Yeah, wow, it's a special place, I think. Sweet Mac. If anyone knows why the water is doing that, there's like a big man made mass, like at the bottom of this, of the Mekong. Yeah, with most stuff of note, I'll put a location down below. Yeah, this is really cool. Never seen anything like this up close. Kun Tangan Ani Gibi Cup. Yes. 20 years you work. Ah, oh, Saobi Cup. Cup. <laughs> Wow, you've uh, been doing this for 20 years. To be honest, I, I was scared when uh, we first hit it. I thought he got too close. I thought we were stuck. See, I don't have a life vest. I had my laptop, but I don't think that would have did me any good. Bye-bye, temple under the water. Is that an okay thing to say? No problem. Gang Mark. Kuma cup, ah, Sanu cup, Kao Gang Mak, of Kuma cup. So, 100 baht a person, you take a boat out to see the temple over there somewhere that's underneath the Mekong River. I'm gonna go in here. I hope there's not a ghost or a dog. Actually, I'd rather see a ghost than a dog. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Bruno, oh, Bruno Unframed is a bit of a chicken. And this is kind of like a thrill for me to do something like this. Wow, this is nuts. Yeah, this is underneath the walkway, like the walking path along the Mekong River in Nongkai. All right, enough thrills for today. Did it. Okay, that's a little, that doesn't seem real safe.
so that little creepy area I was underneath was underneath here. Exercise time. Okay. Watat Market. Cow lab, cow lab, cup. Oh, ah, cup. Hello. Yeah, this is a market a little outside of town, outside of Mekong. A lot of stuff, a lot of fruit, and, uh, seafood, and meat, and all that good stuff. I like cup. Blood sausage? I think it's blood sausage. Cup. Aloy mai? Cup on. Pla. Cup on. Mystery bag for 140 baht. H. Sausage. Sausage is very popular in Nongkai. Oh, here you go. Oh, it's pretty cup. Frog. Cup on. Fish doctor. Fish doctor. Fish doctor. Plum all. Alright, cup. Alright, cup for my cup. Thank you. Alright, I've been, um, I've been very entertaining for many people. I'm better than TV, I think. Oh. Oh, Oh my god, this is so terrible. Oh. God, I hope. Oh my god.
ายเสร็จเดี๋ยวถ่ายรูปทำลายดูนะเป็นแบบ Well thank goodness he got it out uh, There's no people in there Thank goodness Wow no one was hurt uh yeah this is terrible really nice owner nice people at work here could have been a lot worse though it looks like none of the huts uh, caught on fire uh looks like the kitchen like the little the dining area got the you know um big part of the fire i don't know i'm just kind of out of words right now clean up <laughs> Oh. So I think this is where it started over there. I'm not positive. Wow. Actually, my last video I edited right there. Over there. Really too bad. Oh, wow. Get that electrical burned up. A couple. Still ashes falling. Wow. Yeah, so around, I don't know, probably say around 6 a.m. I was sleeping. Uh, I had kind of a late night with their birthday party and stuff the night before. So, sleeping. Also, I heard someone like yelling. I thought people were goofing around. A lot of people get very excited here when they're joking around. Then I heard like a couple people. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Is there a fight or something? I look out my window and probably like 50 meters away, big ass fire. I'm like, holy cow. So luckily I was already packed because I'm going to the uh, take a shuttle from Nongkai to Udantani to the airport. So I was pretty much all packed up because I knew I was going to have a late night. So I was like, ah, in the morning I just want to just lay around, play on the iPad, whatever, and not have to worry about packing. So I just grabbed my stuff and ran out. Uh, I, I did actually, I remember going to get my toothbrush. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an electric toothbrush, you know. It's kind of nice. So, I remember I did go back for my electric toothbrush. Uh, and yeah, that, that was crazy. Too bad, but man, it could have been so much worse. No one got hurt. Thought, luckily, no one died, of course. Uh, it was, it was too bad. It was really too bad. Beautiful place. They'll rebuild. Really good people here. Right on the Mekon here. Yeah, it's really too bad, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, not a lot of cup. Oh, okay, bye-bye. 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 All right, a couple uh, hours before I take the shuttle to Urantani to fly back to Chiang Mai, get some suki. Looks good. Oh yeah, this looks nice. Uh. Off to catch the shuttle on my way to Udon Thani to the airport. I can't wait to get home to Chiang Mai. Oh, probably another six hours before I get there. But I'll get there eventually. Got an ant crawling on me. All right, see you someplace different. All 
right. Off to the Tuk-Tuk. On my, oh, on my way to the airport in Udon Thani. Well, actually a shuttle to go to the airport in Udon Thani. Cup. Leaving Nong Kai. Beautiful Nong Kai. In the shuttle on my way to the airport. I'm at Udan, Udan Thani Airport, so I need to find Nok Air. You know, I've been in many airports, I've traveled many places, but I'm lost in an airport. I don't know, I don't know where the heck does this go? All right, well, you know, I'm gonna go. I need to, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. Oh. I can't wait to get home. I should be home. I think in like three hours from now. It'll be nice to sit on my sofa, watch TV. Yeah, let's go, dog. Alright, it's good. It's good lighting. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Uh, my way home. Thank God. No bus for me this time. But this thing's a little bit bigger than the bus I was at before, but it'll be shorter and it is more comfortable. All right, that's the video. Um, yeah, like I said, it was pretty laid back. Then on the last day, uh, a couple of hours before I'd left to go to Unan Thani to fly back to Chiang Mai, there's a fire like in the kitchen area. Very scary, thank goodness. Thank goodness nobody was hurt or even worse, died. All right, so that's the end of my visa run um, to Laos and then traveling around Nong Kai. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week's video, I have no idea what it's gonna be about. It'll be about something different than what this video is about. If you ever experience any kind of a fire or any kind of like, you know, life-threatening or almost being injured type situation, like abroad or in your home country, please comment below. I like to hear some some stories. Like, you know, you like woke up and there's like a a tornado coming towards your house or a fire or you almost like you're on a cruise ship and it started to go down or I don't know, it's something. I, I like hearing stories like that. It's, it's, it's really scary. It's, it really makes you reflect on life and how fragile and how impermanent life is. So please comment below. Please comment, you know, uh, what you've been thinking of um, these series of videos. Like I said, this is the final one of my visa run. I'll be back next week with something. I'll be talking and pointing at the camera and there'll be all these like jump cuts. And if you're subscribed, click that bell, get notifications. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. I have a lot of content coming up. I have a lot of content in my library. So yeah, please get subscribed, click that bell, get notifications. Please let people know about this channel. This is Bruno and Frame, baby. If you wanna contact me, please click on the Instagram link down below. You can send me a message there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, no matter who you are or where you are, peace. Bye.